over to my channel. It's your girl Charisma to all my new k members. Welcome. Let's jump right into this review. Okay, dolls. Today we are back with another wig review. We are talking about the Outre Perfect Hairline 13 by 6 Sierra Unit 24 inch. I have her in the color Spicy Red. We picked this up over at SoGoodBB.com for $47.99. I'm going to link everything in the description box below. If you guys want to go ahead and purchase this unit, let's go ahead and get into the stats. So this comes with your standard two combs in the front, one comb in the back with your adjustable straps. 13 by 6 lace front toe. The length on her is 24 inches. This is going to be heat resistant, fiber safe up to 400 degrees. Ear to ear soft HC transparent lace with natural baby hair. It's coming with a pre attached elastic band, pre plugged hairline. And once again, like I said, it is heat safe. Now let's just go ahead and get into the, uh, into, yeah, you guys, Outre, I don't know why you guys make me have to keep it all the way 100 with these units, ma'am, because this was such an anticipated unit. I mean, people waited for weeks for Sierra to come out. The K-Squad begged me to review this unit in the spicy red color. And since I had already reviewed Rabina in that color, I believe, and it was so gorgeous, the texture was so beautiful, I was really excited to review Sierra as well. And um, I'm a bit disappointed. I am a bit disappointed, you guys. Let's just go ahead and get into it. The density, the texture, the layers. The unit, when I first took her out the package, this is how she looked. And I was really just, I just was not impressed. Firstly, the color is not the same color as it is on the stock card at all. This looks more like a pink, like a, not a pink, but it's not the red that is on that stock card. The red that's on the stock card is a bit darker. This looks like a, it's a bit lighter, in my opinion. And then we have the texture. I don't know what kind of texture this is. It feels like a soft yakky, but then it feels like yarn. I don't know how to explain it. It feels like braid hair. You know, and I don't mean that good braid hair neither. I mean that 1988 black and gold braid hair. If you guys are a bit, you know, if y'all my age, y'all understand what I'm saying. That Kenneth Kalan stuff, yeah. So the texture is like really wonky. It's really hard to put my fingers through the hair as well. Um, I will say that the density is okay. I don't feel too many tracks going throughout the unit, so the density is okay. And as far as the layering is concerned, once again, these this is... I don't know, you guys, the layers, there, it's just a lot going on. And at first I kept saying, you know what? It's probably the color. It's probably the color. But then I seen someone um, have this on in the color that's on the stock card in the caramel mocha. And just from looking at that video, it's the same hair texture. It's very drab. Um, there is no body. Like there's no body, it's very limp. So it's not the color. And you know what? Even if it was, I really want us um, wig influencers to stop really leaning towards that way. In other words, like giving these wig brands passes. Like, oh, it's the color or this is what. That's no, because people are paying their hard earned money to purchase the unit that is on the stock card. And if you know that the dye is going to wreck the texture of the hair, then just don't manufacture it or you know, go back to the lab and do something different until it's right. So I think that that is sort of an excuse. Now I'm gonna stop, you know, giving big million dollar companies like Outre passes on that, knowing that they are in business because we are shelling out hundreds of thousands of dollars to them, correct? Okay. Now, as far as how the wig fits, I do have a smaller size head. Um, it's fitting nice and snug. I do have that elastic band adjusted, which I love back there. This also comes with a five inch deep lace part. Uh, the thing that I do like about this unit is that it is a frontal and I love perfect hairlines. I've never really had an issue with the perfect hairline series as opposed to the melted hairline series, but this is pretty nice and snug. So it's definitely gonna be big head and small head girl friendly. And this is a 24 inch unit. It's pretty long dolls, but since it's it's long, but it's really lightweight. So that's a good thing too. It's really lightweight. It's not heavy at all. You don't, you know, you can like move it around and bounce it or whatnot. So it's really lightweight. I do like that about the unit. As far as shading and tangling, yeah, you're definitely going to get both. I'm already getting tangling. 
Um, no shedding as of yet, only when I cut the lace. But you're definitely, definitely going to get tangling going into this if you wear it probably more than I would say two or three times. And as far as the layers are concerned, okay, so looking at the stock card, and how the layers are flared out with the middle part. I even parted it that way just to see if the layers would flare out. The curls weren't, the curls were barely curled. So I couldn't really wear it as a middle part. So I decided for a right side part. And you can see the layers are nice. They're fairly long, but the layers are nice. Okay, the layers are nice. I'm not mad at the layering on the unit. But I do feel like it was a, the first layer is a bit long for me, but it's okay. It's not like a big deal. So I do think the layers are okay, but it's so tightly curled down here. And once again, when you look at the picture on the stock card, the hair is not tightly coiled like this, right? So I was a bit taken aback by that as well. Like, okay, why is this so tightly coiled? And then on the stock card, it's not. The hairline on Sierra is fine. Like I said, perfect hairlines are always, they always come with really great hairlines. Um, I did have to pre-pluck this, although it says it's pre-plucked, it really isn't. So you're gonna have to go in and pre-pluck yourself. But the hairline wasn't too bad and it was really easy to blend. I, like I said, I never have issues with the perfect hairline series. As far as the baby hair, they're very thin. It was, you know, they weren't thick this time around. And I did cut those off, but we'll talk more about that as far as the install is concerned. But the hairline is fine. The hairline is fine. I didn't really have uh, any issues with the hairline at all. So as far as installing the Sierra, it was fairly easy. Uh, like I said before, just cut the baby hair and the lace. I did go in and melt it a bit on the right side because I didn't want it to kind of flip up there. So I just kind of melted a little bit with my even melt spray there in the um, gel and I was pretty much good to go. I also pre-plucked it over there a little bit with my tweezers. I also went in with some Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzing powder um, around the perimeter of the unit just so it can blend even more. Went in with some heat with a hot comb and a wax stick right there at the crown where the part is. And uh, that really helped it kind of lay down a bit because I wanted it to look as natural as possible. And as far as the swoop there with the feathers and the bangs and all that, just went in with my Tresemme hairspray, sprayed it to about 1993, and we were pretty good to go. It's, you know, it's moving, so it's not really hard. So uh, I wanted it to be like that because I wanted the body to stay. But other than that, the install was simple, went in the mirror no longer than 15 minutes there, even with the pre-plucking and the melting and all that good jazz. So yeah, the, the it wasn't hard at all. Like I was here for the install, definitely. And as far as the pros and cons of Miss Sierra are concerned, let's go ahead and get into the cons. So firstly, one con is that it's not the same color as it is on the stock card. It also, the style is not the same style. The texture is a bit off. It just feels more like wool. I don't know how to explain it, but it's very drab, it's very limp, like I said before. So I was a bit disappointed with that. Um, even though the color is not the same color, I still think it's pretty because it still is a bright red. It's a fun color. So I'm not like totally upset by that. But um, still, I would have preferred it be at least closer to the color, you know, of the stock card there. Also, like I said, uh, being it's, it is a bit drab, and that just kind of takes the density away from the unit. And uh, it just looks, I don't know, flimsy to me. So those are the cons. Also, the price on this is $50. Like it's $46, but plus tax is like $50. You could go $46 up to $60 depending on what you where you stay or whatever with shipping i do think it was priced a little bit too high uh especially since this is what i like this is the outcome that i got as far as the pros i mean it's cute it's cute i mean i bought it so i mean i probably will get a couple of wears out of it so i think it's cute um but would i wear this again no and also would i recommend the unit i will not this is not a, re a unit that i'm going to recommend you pretty much can buy this at your own risk but like i said i've already seen it in the caramel mocha color and it just seems like the texture is the same one that if you guys have sierra and it pretty much is different from this it's you know i would say better better quality uh, comment down below and let me know because I already know it's not just me. I've already seen comments on my Juliet video about Sierra. I'm not going to go into that. But yeah, people are a bit disappointed with this. So yeah, this isn't going to be recommended. But nonetheless, I still think it's a pretty unit. And I think if it was, you know, priced down to like 25 bucks, it would be fine. It's not a big deal. You definitely can get two to three wears out of this. You know, it's cute, fun or whatever. I mean, 
maybe in the number one, you know, but I was just highly anticipating for that spicy red color to hit and it did not. So, sorry for ya. Guys, that's pretty much it for this review. If you enjoyed my content today, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button as well as the sub button. That's my face popping up on the screen. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram at Leticia Charisma. And I will see you guys in the next video. Stay beautiful and blessed as always. Bye.